Hey guys, this is Eric from FinalCutStudioSchool.com and uh, I've got a lot of questions about a lot of people use DV footage on their green screen because they have DV cams at home and a lot of them have asked me how to clear up their jagged edges on their DV material because DV is notorious for having a rough sharp jagged edge on the green screen. If I zoom in here we can see this right here these jagged edges that is notorious on DV footage. Now you can see we need to de-interlace our footage. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Others tab and de-interlace. And when I de-interlace, you'll see this helps a whole lot. Now this may help your footage, it may not, um, depending on if you need it de-interlaced or if you don't. And you can go down to your fields of even or odd. Which one to you looks better? I like even for this footage. And then there's a mode you can do replicate, interpolate, and blur and blur as you can see tends to clean up the edges pretty good here is the replicate as you can see here's the interpolate and here is the blur it, ma it makes the edges a lot better and that's just the beginning spot your, your footage may not even need deinterlaced I'm just showing you this in case it does so now let's go on to how we will smooth out our jagged ed edges so the first thing we want to do is we want to add a color space node so I'm going to add a color space, and when I do, it's going to bring up my color space, in space, and my out space, and my luminance bias. We don't need to worry about our luminance bias at the moment. All we need to worry about is our in space and out space. We're going to flop our in space to YUV, and it will give us this. Oh, I'm sorry, not our in space, our out space. We're going to flop our out space to YUV, and that will give us this funky-looking psychedelic color. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a blur. Now, there's been several people might tell you that you can't key after a blur, but they are completely wrong. Don't listen to them. What we're going to do is we're going to sandwich our blur in between two color spaces and smooth out our edges. So now we've flipped our out space to YUV. Go to filter and add a blur. And blur it by about 7 pixels. Okay, after you do that, go back to color, add another color space. Then we're going to go to our in space and flip it to YUV. Now when we do this, it reverses it back and now we have this image with a color space, a blur, and a color space and I'm going to show you the end result after we finish keying. So let's go ahead and finish our key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two key, uh, key nodes. I'm going to use a prime at and I'm going to use a key light. So the first thing we're going to do is go to key and we're going to uh, amend, append a uh, prime at. Okay, now we have this prime at. Let's go in here and work it for a little bit. It's already set to accept our color, so I'm going to go in here and swipe. It's going to take an average like that. And now, as you can see, nothing happens. That's because you need to go over here and click on black. And that will show you your comp on black. And she looks pretty messed up, like she's got some kind of zombie disease. So hit your A key to go to your alpha channel. Now we can do our fine tuning. Let's go down here and click our foreground operator and start swapping her try and get her completely white like this anything white is going to be left in our in our picture and anything black is going to be transparent so let me go in here and just keep doing this a little bit and filling her out some people tell you don't swap all that much but you can swap as many times as you want you can always delete your last operation you swap as often as you need or as much as you need let me do a little bit of her hair here, her head. Yeah, we're almost there now. Looking pretty good. A little bit more of this here. I want to try and leave her edges of her hair soft. So now I'm going to click the background operator and swap my background where I got some noise. Okay, now we have this pretty decent key, which could be done better and taken more time with. But for YouTube, um, I believe you get the idea. Now we have this um, rough key. So before that, before the rough key, I'm going to, um, well, I guess I could put a blur on it. So let me go to filter, add a blur. Let me hit the E key to extract it. Then I'm going to hold the N key and bring it in and let it attach itself right here. Like that. And I'm going to blur it, I don't know, about seven pixels again maybe even five like that 
Okay, let's go back to our primat node. Okay, now we have this primat node, and as you can see, it's got some spill, so we want to want to go in and adjust our spill. So let's go down to our fine tuning and let's swap around our hair. Like that. Now when you scroll down under fine tuning, you'll have these adjustments. This is why I like to use the fine tuning operator and not the D spill operator or the spill sponge operator because the spill sponge is included in your fine tuning. So now I'm going to go down here and up my spill sponge a little bit. As you can see when I do this, that green goes away. Introducing a little bit too much brown so we don't want to do that. And then we can bring our foreground trans down or up, whichever. Makes it look a little better. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good. We don't need to worry about it too much because we're going to use our key light to uh, to despill anyway. So let's just adjust this the best we can. Now if I use a spill sponge operator and I go in here, you can see it takes away a lot of the spill, but if you're not careful with that spill sponge, you'll eat into your, your key, so you don't want to do that. So now we have this, okay, pretty decent rough key here. Now, now that we have this, I'm going to go back up to my color space, go to key, and I'm going to branch off my right clicking, click and branch, branch off a key light. Like so. so. Now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to on black. I'm going to replace my color. Now I'm going to leave it untouched, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my screen color and um, I'm going to pick green, this green right here, and it will turn my background green. And that's all I'm going to do to it. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm just going to leave it right like that because I'm going to use this as kind of a despill. And then I'm going to amend a call, uh, malt node from color menu. This is going to be my color correction. I'm going to use this to correct my color. So let me go in here and just set this to a weird color so you all can get an idea of what's going on here in a minute. Okay. Now we have this malt node. I want to bring a noodle from my color space down to the mask input of my malt. Like that right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a key mix node. So go to layer, key mix. Put this in your in the middle right here. Put your primat node on the end. And put your background to front like that now we have this key now you can see where my molt node comes into play I'm gonna click my molt node click on my color swatch and I'm gonna go in here and start adjusting my color to match it you, you see the background has got a bluish tint to it so we want to give her a bluish tint too to make it kind of match in a little bit you know okay that's looking pretty good Okay, now I want to show you, this really isn't a keying demo. This is more or less to show you how to get rid of the jaggies on your edge of your DV. And to do this, we did the color space, blur color space. Now that we have our key in place, let me go up here and zoom in on her edge. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to turn off my color spaces and blur. As you can see right here, I have a color space, a blur, and a color space. Now if I select them and hit the I key, look what happens to the edge. On, off, on, off. Can you all see the difference? Off, I mean on, off. So when you do your color space, blur color space, space this is going to help fix the jagged edges on your DV green screen material. So here's my tree. Have a look at it. Color space, blur, color space. I use the key light for despill, which does a really great job. I keyed it out with my prime at, blurred it before my prime at, added it to a malt, and key mixed it all together. And that pretty much gets rid of my DV jagged edges. And you can go in and color correct more and this, that, and the other. So I hope you've learned something. I have very, very many, many more videos coming on how different ways to despill. I have many more keying videos coming up with different methods to key. I've got despill videos that I showed you several different methods of despill. Got a lot of videos in shape coming. I just had a lot of questions about how to clear up the jagged edges on a DV material with green screen. And this is how 
that I was always taught to do it. Color space, blur, color space. Then do your keying. Don't listen to anybody that says they can't. you can't key after a blur because they're just wrong. And I hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.